All right. Um, so we did number 20. We're going to move on here and get rid of that. Uh, 21, unsaturated. I think we already covered this earlier. Concentrations lower than the maximum solubility. Uh, 22, you would need to figure out what CHCl4 looks like. That's carbon tetrachloride. It has four chlorines around it. That is nonpolar. And then you'd have to work through each of these substances and figure out which one is also nonpolar. And that would be decane. It's the only one nonpolar. You're going to have to draw it. It would be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 carbons. It would have a lot of London dispersion forces, but it would be nonpolar. So therefore, uh, the carbon tetrachloride would probably dissolve in that pretty well. Uh, 23, again, you have to draw the water in this case. Oops, there we go. The water is obviously polar. We've seen that a million times. And it would make hydrogen bonds uh, with this one the strongest because this has hydroxides here and here with two hydroxides. That one would be the best at dissolving into the water. Number 24, again, we've got something with hydroxide on it. Uh, this is nonpolar, 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 nonpolar. The only thing that's polar at all or any has a hydrogen bonding is D, and that is ethanol. Two carbons and a hydroxide is ethanol. Uh, number 25, we have benzene. Benzene is nonpolar and therefore only things that are nonpolar. Wow, this section went really fast. <laughs>